Hey guys, welcome to the end of commentary. I am by myself. This is super late and I apologize. But uh, we're running into some serious issues here on YouTube. Yes, we are. Uh, one of the big issues that we're running into is that, uh, of course, DN is down, you know, uh, but after it said DN's, you know, down and out, they're like, hey, no, DN is back. You know, uh, we have this link I put in the description for the first DN do commentary that went up on Tuesday, and uh, some people have access to it. Then I got to come on my YouTube channel saying that, you know, I can't access it. And I'm just like, what? Like, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean you can't access it? You know, what do you mean that you can't access it? Here's the link. Are you putting the link in wrong? No, apparently not. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do a DM to a commentary joined by one of my fellow Yugi tubers, uh, the Matt Wasp, but he also ran into the same problem. So you already saw Daily Duels actually is one of those odd moments where Daily Duels goes up before the end of commentary because I didn't have this recorded yet because we were planning on recording the end of commentary then Daily Duels, but we were unable to do that. Uh, that being said, uh, the struggle is real because some people don't have access to DM. You know, they get this 404 error. Uh, of course, yeah, I do not have the error. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe it has to do something with, uh, with, uh, Maybe the Apple computers or something like that. I, I'm not sure what the problem is at this current moment. But all I know is that some people can't get on DN and it sucks. And people can't get on DN, we're going to have to postpone Leak. Like, Leak is going to have to be called, put on hold. Like, this whole, the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! community is just falling apart with the struggles. Anyway, uh, there's only like, I believe, 60 people? 62 people on DN right now. Not a lot. Not a lot of people. And with that very few people on DN... Uh, <laughs> you know, there's not a lot of matches. This is only the only match on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and commentate it, and I'll just keep on jumping from match to match, and uh, keep on bringing you guys content for the end of commentary. But this might be the end of DN dual commentary. We could probably do dual commentary, maybe on what's left of YGL Pro and Dev Pro. Of course, you already know, we already heard YGL Pro got it too. Uh, their website cease and desist, third party, you know. And it just seems like now, after many years, you're trying to tear apart the online Yu-Gi-Oh community. It really sucks. Like if that. If it's actually going to come down to that, then I don't believe that I will be able to be much of a YouTuber. A lot of my content is, you know, Dev Pro and DN, so, mmm, mmm, that's it. Uh, we saw a lot of the number generator in this duel. Uh, uh, I came in after Scout was there, but we saw Scout going up. We saw Sacrifice. We saw Skill Drain, so, uh, you know, it's just, mmm, mmm, you know? <laughs> Uh, just give me all your points, all of them, you know, it's just like, wow, kind of rude, you know, there's only a few people, there's only some people where you can duel, and the people who got them with the, the threat to 4 or 4, I mean, 60 people on DN, this is probably the lowest I've ever seen DN, so I'm going to try to keep on finding duels and at least give you guys what you came here for with DN duel commentary, but I don't know, alright, be right back. Alright, we got another duel here, so, uh, I didn't introduce the other opponent, I apologize, I was so busy trying to introduce everything. We got Shane MST, I believe I remember that name. I believe this is the bad Draco Bell player from Tuesday. Like, and he's wearing Draco Bell. <laughs> I believe I remember that name. Mm. So out of all the people that can still act this DN, this right to 4 and 4, the bad Draco Bell player has returned. And we got Mad Car at 11.36, uh, Shane MST at 10.19, playing... Bujins. Bujins is a butt ton of Satan, of course. If there's any deck that can play Card of the Minds, it's Bujins, right? Uh, so, yeah, the struggle is going to be real. I'm trying to figure out how to do with this. Like, we already seen GN, of course, third party, its end. And while they say they're working on 2.0, we don't know how long that's going to take. You know, we don't know how long 2.0 is going to take. So, it may take a couple months, it may take a year. If if we if everybody can't get on DN and everybody doesn't have X DN, we're gonna have to postpone and put a hold on New York Draft League season two, which really sucks. I got the guess up over Mega Capital G. Uh we've already got some of the matches recorded and that, and it looks like it will be awesome and very entertaining, but if everybody can't get on DN, then what are we gonna do? You know? Not everybody has access to YJR Pro and Dev Pro, let alone uh it looks like those are getting cease and desist third party too, you know. Why do pro their website is third party down? While the program still seems like it works, we don't know how long that's gonna go. You don't know how long uh, that program is going to go ahead and get that. So did he go ahead and play abductor, then play unicorn, and then not get his his spell counter? Like, hmm? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's train MST. Come on. 
Come on. We know from Tuesday that he's not the greatest drink of power player here in the world. You can go ahead and bottomless, that's fine, but he will still resolve his effect, so <laughs> But, I mean, it's not a terrible thing to go ahead and bomb with Sorcerer. You don't want Sorcerer to keep coming back and going, keep coming back and going. So, let's see if he learned his, 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 his lesson. It's been two days. It's been two days. And I'm assuming he's going to go ahead and get his Pot of Greed engine, of course, his uh, his Guitar Turtle and his Lizard Draw. But, of course, he has to play them correctly. There's a Guitar Turtle. There is Lizard Draw. So, it's Guitar Turtle, Lizard Draw. Not Lizard Draw, Guitar Turtle. If you do it wrong, then you're only going to get one draw. So, Guitar Turtle. There you go. Oh my god, he learns. It's a miracle. <laughs> I wonder if these two days someone actually called him out on it since we recorded the endo commentary. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, next thing you know, they'll be like, no wide drill pro, no dev pro. Like, no wide drill pro, no dev pro, no DM. My channel's pretty much done. I don't even do real life Yu Gi Oh! I, I don't even have any real life Yu Gi Oh! cards to take you. There it is. Card of Demise. Should that card be banned? <laughs> like, okay, so let me get this straight. So, a three in one game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? And he's playing, he's, of course, he's playing into the void. Fuck it. Why not? Play into the void because you're gonna pitch your hand anyway. Then at that point, it's just like an upstart goblin. So you put card demise. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so you might as well go ahead and play it. Play it into the void. You're gonna pitch your hand anyway, right? So it's literally an upstart goblin. Still kind of pricey too. Still kind of pricey. But uh, he has three more cards in his hand. You know, on the, uh, you know, you're gonna activate if you have three more cards in your hand. So he has th exactly three. Play it. Draw a card. Uh, and more back row, more back row, ton of back row. How do you care? It's gonna go ahead and sit there with you, motto and play, and play, uh, card of demise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't care if it makes lower tier decks be able to compete with the upper tier decks. You, you literally just drew a fucking pot of greed on crack. It is, I mean, a graceful charity on crack. That's essentially what he did. It's just graceful charity. Just, alright, play it, draw three, and then as long as you save at least one of those cards, that's Crystal Cherry. I, I, tell me that's not fucking broken as fuck. But uh, tell me that his plays aren't broken as fuck either. Go ahead and get him a pot of green off of Keith Lockhart on Lizard Draw. Now, will he'll be able to do much of anything? I'm not sure, because, of course, there's five set right there. Like, yeah, I'm assuming that there's going to be some Solemn Strikes, some Solemn Warnings, some, bot, uh, some Mirror Forces. We already saw Bottomless. Uh, so the struggle, the struggle can easily be real. But I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't have any really. I don't really have any real life Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I used to do a lot of videos on the channel, but I gave that up. I gave that up. So, you know, they end Death Pro, Wajira Pro, and Beyond. My channel's dead, and that really sucks. And I could go for a lot of channels too. You know, I mean, I could just be a a, a talking Yu-Gi tuber, kind of like a news Yu Gi tuber, and I kind of sort of do with card review. But outside of that, not really. And that can that can really end up hurting my channel overall. It's like. It's like, you know, what am, I, what am I doing with my channel? What, what am I doing? You know, like, Daily Duels would be dead, Violent Wild Livestream, that would be dead. The end of com I mean, the end of commentary might be dead in general, I don't know. Like, the end of commentary? We could just do dual commentary, but the matches on YG Pro and Deborah are so fast that we just get multiple duels in one uh, video. It really wouldn't be, uh, it, it, you know, doesn't take as much scale, it's really automated. While here, you know, you actually got to think. You actually got to think. It's interesting that both these players, like, I'm not sure how many turns we're into this, this duel, but 2018, like, they're just going through their decks. The resources are real. All right, so he's going to go ahead and summon the Luster. And the Luster is going to go ahead and attack. Like, sure. Enter battle phase. You're going to see the activation of, wow. You don't see this card uh, played that often, the Sword. So he can go ahead and target the crane in his graveyard and add it back to his hand. All right. Of course, he has to do that properly because if you go like add attack, of course, you add, then you can, you know. I believe you actually can. So he's just gonna go ahead and play it anyway. So you know, attack anyway. So I was able to lock it down with a nice chunk of back row and of course your helmet ass monster of Bujin. I mean. I mean, there's there's some monsters that are no more helmet than you know, Bujin Yamato throwing a maybe a little bit of scout, put your helmet on, 
seeing these decks that are being revitalized from card to device. I, I have no problem with these decks being a compete, but they don't need the fucking grateful charity on crack. They give them more support. Give them, you know, more direct support. Don't just give everybody a fucking grateful charity on crack just because you're playing a slower S deck, therefore that's fair. Like, no. Nah. Like, how does that sound fair? Like, oh my god, the meta's so strong, so I should get a grateful charity. Like, no. No one should have a grateful charity. It's banned for a reason. But... I guess we'll find out on this upcoming list. I believe that the MRB list in uh, July. I do have like a general ban list prediction, and I do have a video that I'm, prob I'm probably going to upload. Uh, it's a video, it's a uh, top five cards that Konami should hit, but probably won't. So it's five cards that I think Konami should hit, but then probably won't hit, and therefore I'm not going to put on my ban list prediction. So, interesting video. Uh, I have it recorded and it's ready to go, it's just I kind of wanted to upload it after League has gotten started, but at this point, I don't think League is gonna happen. I really don't. Like, I can't. Like, people can't get on DN. We can't record the matches on DN. Therefore, how? How, you know? Oh. Alright, so, I forgot its monster effect. Uh, each time a card plays, town gains 100 attack, and to add one level 1 spellcaster from your deck, and I seriously doubt she'll be doing that. But, uh, it's gonna get at least get stronger, so it's level 2 now. And we're seeing the plays of, uh, Carbon Mize and Void, uh, it's a Void, Carbon Mize, probably, probably all that 3 just to go ahead. Like, you don't really give a shit about your hand once you drop that Bujin Yamato and, and set all your entire hand and go freaking crazy plus with your, in, you know, with your Carbon Mize, it really doesn't matter, right? So. Uh, she is, uh, 1900 right now, and if it keeps on activating spell cards, then possibly see some more shenanigans. Uh, enter battle phase, okay, main phase two. Uh, gonna go ahead and, uh, drop your peacock. Uh, send this card from your head out. You can activate, you, is it, what, you can activate card effects. You cannot activate card effects the turn you activate this effect, except for Bujin cards, which you did, though. So, can activate cards or effects to turn to activate this effect, except illusion cards, but you did. So, kind of cheating there, uh, uh, mad car. Kind of cheating there. You did activate, you know, didn't say, it doesn't even say for the rest of the turn. You, you can activate card or effects to turn you activate this effect, if it's illusion cards, but you activated Pod Duali, you didn't avoid, so. How do you activate Peacock? Cheating. Just chat. Chat. Anybody in the watch the chat? No, no one wants to chat, wants to say chat. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, you probably saw a very powerful counter trap there, uh, Chaos Trap Hall, and there it is, Chaos, uh, Carter Mize, how, 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 how is that fair? I don't care what you say, people, I don't care if it makes lower tier decks to be able to compete, you shouldn't get that, it's broken, so broken, yeah, so, go ahead and draw three cards, because why not, go ahead and summon your motto, because why not, you know, you got a Chaos Trap, another Chaos Trap Hall, that'd be great. Other Chaos Trap Hole, definitely you will have been putting to work, because you generally want to summon the Boots in your mind, but how about you just get fucked up, right? Yep, so. That's 2,000 that had. He's, he's gonna go ahead and enter, enter battle phase or something along those lines. So, I don't know. I don't know. Doing the endo commentary by myself, I can do it by myself, but, you know. So, we're gonna go ahead and see. The backfire of, uh, well, really, backfire? Not really. Not really, because think about it. You know what i Think about it, think about it. He played card demise, right? What's one card? Drew three. Mm hmm. Discarded one. So it was three cards for two. So he played the card, drew three, and then discarded two? Yeah. Yeah, that definitely sounds like Grinch with Charity to me. That's exactly what Grace of Charity is. And like, I know the whole restrictions and stipulations, but you know, sometimes here in the game in Yu-Gi-Oh, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. When you can go ahead and work around the and exploit the the the, the weaknesses of the card and the restrictions, fuck it. Take advantage of it, full strength. So uh Chain of Misty over here is definitely locking down with uh Chaos Trap Home and Song Striking the Yamato. You really can't get anything. So it's all morning too. Like, damn. So that hopefully he gets another Bujin monster. If not, he's just gonna get poked to death. And we're seeing the activation to top deck of a Bujin Carnation. Uh, very powerful card to be played right now. So uh, go ahead and pretty much summon two monsters back. It's not the greatest of cards when uh, 
when uh, Cardamide's in place, but go ahead and drop that Bushinte Susi Susamu. And yep, yep, just like that with one card, just BAM! Come back to it, right? There's a, tur there's a, a turtle in there, there's a hair in there, so uh, despite Chain MST uh, kind of just taking this low and locking it down and keeping the Yamato off the field, it doesn't really matter. It would have been great, maybe if that Solemn Warning was there. If that Solemn Warning was there, he would have draw play Solemn Warning that, uh, that, uh, Bridge Incarnation, but he can attack all the monsters. <laughs> yeah. So that MST on that Solemn Warning is exactly, exactly what Magic Card needed. This might be it, people. This might be it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, those two set cards, they could seriously be a threat. Oh, another eccentric. Eccentric pop that one. Alright, and you also, uh, also Chaos Travel. Go ahead and catch this Regeki. Alright. Hair can just block that, so that doesn't mean anything. And you got one card left in your hand. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was a monster to go ahead and attack. But, nope, hair. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe Monkey Board? Set up your Pendulum Scale? One card Pendulum Scale? If not, then GMST, I think that's it. <laughs> so, just really worried about my channel overall. Uh, and I, I, of course, uh, life lights haven't been too high. Uh, we're still trying home remedies, but it looks like if it doesn't work tomorrow, Friday, we're definitely going to go to the doctor. You know, and trying to hold it off, trying not to go to the doctor. I do have insurance, but you know, I'd just rather not. Like, I'd rather not go to the doctor and deal with that if, if need be. That's it. That's definitely it. I didn't search, search and tack tack. Mm. All right. Uh, we probably have time for one more duel. We'll get one more duel there. All right. Uh, we got this. We got sulfuric acid ninety eight at thirteen seventy three and Arc V Shun playing Monix. Arc V Shun Shun playing Monix. That probably one of the last decks that Shun would ever touch. Like wait a minute. And domain Monix at that. Like hey. Hey, Shun, you know how you would love to fucking access the extra deck? And some of your raid drafters like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so, mm. Just I'm seeing tokens. I'm not sure what uh, Sephiric Acid is playing. I see a bottomless, so. But outside of that, not sure. I'm seeing some set cards. Maybe a solar deck. Maybe like Carded in Mind, something along with Carded in of course. Uh, of course. So maybe a maybe mirror match. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, that feeling when you break more than monarchs, yeah. And of course, uh, it's a, a easy way to go ahead and dodge a solemn strike is every turn. Return will of course be chain link two with your monarch monster being in chain link one, where a uh, strike has to be the direct chain to it. So you're not able to strike that uh, Erebus, Erebus send, and pick something out of your uh, Flander field, spinning on targeting and spinning back to the deck. Very powerful, of course. Wow, actually playing uh, Thessalos. You don't see a lot of people uh, play that mo that monarch anymore. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a misclick, apparently. Okay. So never mind. Never mind. Thought maybe Thessalos. Nah, just just white bitch. Why are you playing Thessalos? Well, oh, no, you need big nigga and white bitch. So they keep big white bitch. It's new monarchs. Fucking mega monarchs. Like why? Why they got? I mean, it seems like the new support would definitely help them out. But why? Why play them? Like, hey, look at Monarchs. Nah, nah, they're gone, they're gone. No one plays that anymore. Mega Monarch? Nah, nah, nah. I don't know, how about new Monarchs? And just give them ridiculousness. Hmm, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like, it just seems like Yu-Gi-Oh part, yu gi oh part of Steam. It's like, if this is the end of online Yu-Gi-Oh, then I, I just don't understand how anybody could play Yu-Gi-Oh like that. Like, you can't play test decks. Like, like is this is this Konami trying to strike? I, they say it's not Konami, but... Is it and Konami trying to strike back? Like after all this time they're like, hey, you know what? Fuck the end. Fuck Rise the Pro. Fuck that pro. Go ahead and play our online based games. Pay money. Pay us more money. Like, mm. I'd probably have to quit Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I I I'm I'm sorry if I'm gonna if I'm hurting you and I'm gonna disappoint you and all that, but if straight up, if Dev Pro, Wedge Pro, and DM all go down and we have no access to it and we can't put it on Yu-Gi-Oh, my channel's dead. I'm going to quit. And I would probably come back if those things ever came back. It would be a long-ass break and I would have no control. Like I said, hopefully they said they're working on DN2. So, DN2 for now. But as of right now, I think League will probably put on hold. will probably put a separate video on it. But the 404 era and taking out Wedge Pro, Dev Pro's probably next. God damn. Like, wow. That's to you, yeah, I guess.
If all three of those attack I win, I believe that's game. 28, 28, 28? Yeah, I believe that's game. No, 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 grinding me a force. <laughs> one of us rip, rip, one of the most powerful trap cards in Yu Gi Oh! It's like you attack me directly. One of the things that you have to do in this game of Yu Gi Oh! because it's not like you're gonna sit there and keep attacking monsters. So if you attack me directly, get this, you get right, you know? And it's like, yeah, you could put some of your monsters in defense positions. It's kind of like arguing with like Mirror Force, but Mirror Force at least it destroys and sends to the graveyard. Some cards can't be destroyed, some cards. Would like to go to graveyard. Ribbon Mirror is like, how about non targeting returning to the deck? The best place you can send something in Yu Gi Oh! The best place. Like, Exister, Tiramisu. Like, mmm, mmm. <laughs> yep. So give him tenacity so he can go ahead and back in and get what he wanted anyway. Like, never. I, I'd probably say never select tenacity. Never. There's just no point. There's no point in selecting tenacity because they'll just reveal and grab what they want anyway, and that will allow them to deck them. Like unless you're trying, say fair cast, unless you're trying to stall out and maybe uh, deck out monarchs, I just don't see it. So, more set cards. Yep, and deck out monarchs, I think not because of course he got the prime that he wanted. So. <laughs> More prime shenanigans, more tenacity, more everything. Spawners, extra deck morning. One of these days, they'll, they'll be nice if they get hit. One of these days. Like, I think that the list will probably be sometime after Nationals. After the, maybe the European Nationals. I think the American Nationals are sometime this weekend. So, but it's going to be a July list. And we already know, July list, they suck. Here in Yu-Gi-Oh, July list suck. <laughs> And the sad thing is, you could probably freaking blow this man back with three drowning mirror force and still end up losing this duel. Because he still has resources in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh, that's all that matters. Seven cards in hand. <laughs> yep, go ahead and spin that one back because he can. Attack. Like, mm -mm 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 -mm. So, I don't know, I'll probably put up a separate video saying that, you know, season two was on hold until further notice, because... We need the, um, we need it, and little did I know, we didn't know, I, we've been planning this for a long time, we got the guest upload for Mickey Capital G, the rest of the guest uploads, I mean, at least if we put League on hold, we can at least wait for that to come back, so then we can wait for a DNO, no, <laughs> yep, well, storming, that's, that's, I guess that's okay, but you go ahead and turn the one of cards back to the hand, or you turn them off, and you're slowly negging on resources, like storming their force, that's a neg. That is a neg if I've ever seen one. That you're bouncing back extra deck monsters. Right. Yep, jump the quaking. Quaking, storming, rippling, and this man, so Ferric Athel right here is the mirror force master. Like holy shit. Alright, you're gonna get rid of uh Erebus. I mean you could just summon Erebus. And so Ferric, it looks like you're just stalling, like where are, you, where are you going with this? Especially since he can return Monarch. Is it equal Swarm? Really? Yeah, your opponent controls the monsters you can do. Especially summon that card from your hand. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that is equal Swarm. Just never would have guessed. And of course, Monarch Storm Force. Oh, oh. Yep, go ahead and chain that Pandemic. Mm -hmm. So, Pandemic is a great card against Monarch Storm Force. Makes it just unaffected by. Spells and traps that includes being tributed for Monarch Storm for it, so. Yep. Luxton wouldn't stop shit. He still has more cards in your hand. Go ahead and scoop. Scoop. Scoop, 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 scoop. You can go ahead and still tribute off his, uh. His, uh. Your, I mean, still get rid of your token, the prime, do all them plays. Probably summon, like, Kraz, and, you know, A, never let your opponent drop, but Kraz can go ahead and pop them evil swans that you're planning on doing something. But even if you did have an exit time, you'd still be lower on resources, so. <laughs> kind of activate his effect during your opponent's turn during the battle phase. I seriously doubt you'd get to that. He'd probably just summon like another dark nigga, spin him away, and you know. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and see probably the last duel. Like, I can't see Evil Swarm beating Monarchs. Like, no, no. So. That'd probably just be a, str a swift 2 0 here by Archie Chun. Like, it's cute that you're trying to play Evil Swarm, but I mean, come on, Monarchs? Like, nah. Nah. <laughs> Thunder King? Thunder King is nothing to scoff at, though. Like, a nice, powerful Thunder King with some sad? Oh, I thought maybe, maybe a card of demise, too. I mean, even Swarm's not the best deck to play card of demise, but you could. You could. <laughs> so, 
I'm Thunder King. I've seen, I've seen a nice Thunder King in my time. I've also seen a nice Monarch Stormforth in my time, so... <laughs> that works. See, this is going to go ahead and trip it in mouth. Go ahead and play Twin Twisters, yeah. Get that Pantheism. Get rid of that freaking Thunder King, then you can go ahead and search. Like, top, top. Yeah, there's nice strike that you probably wanted. Yeah, what do you mean, really? Yeah? You know he's either main decking or, or put in some Twin Twisters, yep. Yep. <laughs> Is it just a tribute summon monster? Uh, when you tribute summon a monster, yeah. Yep, and uh, you didn't get rid of the MST, then for the return of dolls. And look at this, look at this, the, the, the resources that dwindled. They both opened up with five cards and now uh, six for the Monarchs part. And you're not going to banish for your pantheism? I mean, Thunder King's not on the field anymore. The struggle is real. I just feel so like you lost a lot of resources there. Damn, flip up the Royal Decree on your ass. Like, no, 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 no. Go ahead and, and banish. Get that pantheism search and get back into this duel. Shane, like, this is it. This is it. Like, <laughs> them trap cards are the only thing that are keeping you safe. And this man, side decks, Royal Decree on your ass. Damn. Too bad you have wasted your MST on that return. I mean, that was a smart MST, but it's just... Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my channel. And I really don't need to be dealing with this one. I'm just so out of it, you know? So out of it. <laughs> so, these videos have just been all off track. I try to work harder on Friday. I was probably end up recording the videos after I render and upload this for, uh, videos for Friday. Wow, emergency teleport. Nice top deck. <laughs> Yep, yep. It's been a while since we've seen um, the super quantums in monarchs, you know, especially in, in maybe extra monarchs. But this is this is domain monarchs. Like, why not? Yep. There's four thousand right there. Still no banisher of the pantheism gets a search. Maybe you don't know what you want until you get what you need. Yeah. Like, oh, I'd like to get maybe, like, Tenacity or something, but I guess I'll just hold off, and... Yep, that's it. Told you. Told you. It's gonna end real quick. Real quick. So there you go. There's your short little DN dual commentary. Like I said, I apologize. There's still only, like, 60-something? 60 60-something 60 people on DM. People can't get on. League is probably gonna... Season 2 is gonna be postponed. Like, huh. Uh, everything is just falling apart here and you get to be community. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. So yep. At least I got week one at least I got week one and got this weekend stuff, so but those of you who subscribe from Mega Capital G, you just get a taste, but yeah. Anyway, uh I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. And um I don't know, I don't know next week. It might just be dual commentary on Watch Your Part Depro if those things still exist by then. I don't know. But if those if those go down to absolutely indefinitely then that's it. That's it. My channel is on hiatus until one online some kind of form of online dueling reforms. Alright people, thanks for watching.